Hubert de Burg, 1st Earl of Kent. Hubert de Burg, 1st Earl of Kent, c. 1170 before 5 May 1243, was an English nobleman who served as Chief Justiciar of England and Ireland during the reigns of King John and of his infant son and successor King Henry Roman III and, as a consequence, was one of the most influential and powerful men in English politics. Origins Hubert de Burg was born of unknown parents of Burg next Isle Sham, Norfolk. A case has been made for Hubert's father being Walter de Burg, and his mother was named Alice. The family were minor landholders in Norfolk and Suffolk, from whom Hubert inherited at least four manors. His elder brother was William de Burg d. 1206, founder of the de Burg slash Burg slash Burg dynasty in Ireland, and his younger brothers were Geoffrey Archdeacon of Norwich and later Bishop of Ely, and Thomas Castellan of Norwich. Appointments by King John Hubert de Burg had entered the service of Prince John by 1198 and rose in importance in John's administration. He served successively as Chamberlain of John's household, Ambassador to Portugal, Sheriff first of Dorset and Somerset, and then of Berkshire and Cornwall, custodian of the castles of Dover, Launceston, and Windsor, and then for these services he was granted a series of manors, baronies, and other castles, and became a powerful figure in John's administration. In 1202 de Burg was sent to France by King John to assist in the defense of Poitou against King Philip Roman II of France. He was appointed castellan of the great castle of Chinon in Touraine. During this time, he served as guard of the captured Arthur I, Duke of Brittany. After almost all of Poitou had fallen to the French king, de Burg held the castle for an entire year, until he was captured during the ultimately successful storming of the castle in 1205. He was held captive until 1207, during which time his royal appointments and grants of land passed to other men. Following his return to England, De Burg did, however, acquire other offices in John's administration. He also acquired lands scattered throughout East Anglia, Southwest England, and elsewhere, making him once again an important baron in England. In 1212, De Burg returned to France at first as deputy senestial of Poitou, and then as senestial. He served John in his efforts to recover dominions lost to Philip Roman II of France until the signing of a truce between John and Philip following John's failed military campaign in France 1214. Chief Justiciar of England Hubert de Burg remained loyal to King John during the Baron's Rebellion in the last years of his reign. In the early stages of that rebellion, John sent de Burg to London with the Bishop of Coventry in an unsuccessful attempt to command the people of London to resist the Baron's military advance. De Burg and Philip d'Aubigny brought together the king's troops at Rochester, but then John made peace with the rebels. In Magna Carta 1215, de Burg is listed as one of those who advised the king to sign, and his brother, Geoffrey Bishop of Ely, was a witness. Hubert de Burg is also listed as the person who would act on the king's behalf if the king were out of the country. Soon after the issuing of Magna Carta, de Burg was officially declared chief justiciar of England. During the first barons were 1215-17, Hubert de Burg served John as sheriff of Kent and Surrey, as well as Castellan of Canterbury and Dover. He successfully defended Dover Castle during a siege that lasted until John died in October 1216, and the infant King Henry Roman III was crowned. He denied Louis Roman VIII of France possession of the castle later in 1216. On 24 August 1217, a French fleet arrived off the coast of Sandwich in Kent in order to provide Prince later King Louis of France, then ravaging England with soldiers, siege engines, and fresh supplies. Hubert set sail to intercept the French fleet, and at the resulting Battle of Sandwich, he scattered the French and captured their flagship, the great ship of Bayonne, commanded by Eustace the Monk, who was promptly executed. When the news reached Louis, he entered into fresh peace negotiations. Regent to Henry Roman III, he 
When Henry Roman III came of age in 1227, Hubert de Burgh was appointed governor of Rochester Castle, Lord of Montgomery Castle in the Welsh Marches, and Earl of Kent. He remained one of the most influential people at court. On 27 April 1228, he was named Justiciar for life. However, in 1232, his enemy's plots finally succeeded, and he was removed from office, and was soon imprisoned at Devizes Castle. When Richard Marshall, 3rd Earl of Pembroke, rebelled against the king in 1233, the men holding Hubert de Burgh captive released him, and he subsequently joined the rebellion. In 1234, Edmund Rich, Archbishop of Canterbury, effected a reconciliation. Hubert officially resigned the justiciarship about 28 May 1234, and no longer exercised the power of the office after September 1232. This judgment was reversed by William de Rayleigh alias Raleigh in 1234, which for a time restored the earldom. Trouble with the King The marriage of Hubert de Burgh's daughter, Margaret or Megata, as she was also known, to the young Richard of Clare, Earl of Gloucester, brought de Burgh into some trouble in 1236, for the Earl was still a minor and in the King's wardship, and the marriage had been celebrated without the royal license. Hubert, however, protested that the match was not of his making, and promised to pay the king some money, so the matter passed by for the time. Eventually the marriage came to an end by way of her death. Lands acquired. In 1206, he purchased the manor of Tunstall in Kent from Robert de Arzic, which was later inherited by his eldest son, John de Burgh. Hubert was appointed constable of Dover Castle, and was also given charge of Fallies in Normandy. At Fallies, he was the jailer of Arthur I, Duke of Brittany, the nephew of King John and boy claimant to the English throne. Arthur may or may not have been murdered after leaving de Burgh's custody. His fate is unknown. At some time before 1215, Hubert de Burgh is cited as having been appointed Lord Warden of the Sinkports, which position later, after the barons were included, the ex officio constableship of Dover Castle. In the case of de Burgh, however, a rather long period seems to have elapsed between the two appointments. Sometime after 1215, de Burgh started building a castle in Hadley, having been awarded the lands by King John. A license to crenellate was retrospectively given in 1230, at which point that original castle had been completed. After falling out with King Henry Roman III, de Burgh was stripped of Hadley Castle. The castle was claimed by the monarchy and stayed in royal hands until being sold with much of the stonework dismantled. The castle later suffered from several landslips, and the ruins are currently owned by English heritage. Marriages Hubert was initially betrothed to Joan de Redvers, daughter of William de Redvers, 5th Earl of Devon, but the marriage never took place, and she later married William Brewer Roman II d. 1232, eldest surviving son and heir of William Brewer d. 1226, who was a prominent administrator and judge during the reigns of Richard I. Hubert de Burgh married three times. Firstly, Beatrice, daughter of William de Warren, with whom he had two sons, Sir John, whose descendant Margaret married Richard Og de Burgh, second Earl of Ulster, and Sir Hubert, ancestor of Thomas Burgh of Gainsborough. Secondly, September 1217, Isabella, Countess of Gloucester, daughter and heiress of William Fitz Robert, second Earl of Gloucester. Thirdly, Princess Margaret, sister of King Alexander Roman II of Scotland, with whom he had a daughter, Margaret, who married Richard de Clare, 6th Earl of Gloucester. The Death Hubert de Burgh died in Banstead, Surrey, in 1243, and was buried in the church of the Friars Preachers, commonly called Black Friars, in Holborn, London. His sons did not inherit his earldom, as the inheritance of the earldom was restricted to descendants of Hubert and his third wife, possibly because Henry Roman III granted the title on account of Hubert marrying a Scottish princess. Fictional portrayals Hubert is a character in Shakespeare's play King John. On screen, he has been portrayed by Franklin McLee in the silent short King John 1899, which recreates John's death scene 
by Jonathan Adams in the BBC TV drama series The Devil's Crown 1978, and by John Thaw in the BBC Shakespeare version of The Life and Death of King John 1984. The story of his daughter's marriage is told in Edith Pargetter's novel The Marriage of Megata 1979.